Hey guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show and today I'm back in the RV. One of my last days, final days here before we leave it on our property here in Kentucky. But today I'm going to be installing these guys right here. These are LED puck lights and they come, it looks like a set of six of them I got here. They're kind of thin, wafer thin puck lights and they attach into uh, these connectors three on each connector right here so I got three coming out of this connector three coming out of this connector and it goes into a uh, 12 volt uh, conversion from 110 but I'm actually I used a fuse uh, jumper underneath my dash here in the front seat there right at the kick panel and I got a fuse jumper in there and I'm gonna pull off a uh, 12 volt from that fuse box to power these 12 volt lights. They do come with double sided sticky tape you can mount them with, but I think I'm gonna mount mine with the screws that come with it. And I'm gonna mount these up underneath the dash because I noticed on my last trip, watch my last video into the night and I was traveling into the night, driving in the dark in this RV. And whenever I looked down to go reach for my drink or anything like that, or go put it back in a cup holder, I couldn't see anything below the dash. It was like pitch black down there and it's very dangerous to drive like that because you can't see anything and you're focused down uh, at the floorboard, cup holders and stuff like that when you need to be keeping your eyes on the road, especially at nighttime driving. So guys, I'm gonna add these in for safety reason purposes and nice convenience ambient lighting. Now I did also purchase this dimmer switch for 12 volt. And it seems to be working out pretty cool. I got it hooked up temporarily here to, uh, to test it out. And I'm gonna show you, I've got one, one light here hooked up right now. So if I just press it, I'm gonna press the button on the dimmer, comes on, press it again, goes off, on, and then if I hold it, it dims the light, see? And then press it. And it'll maintain that memory of how bright you had it last when you turn it back on. And then when it's, once it's on, then you can hold the dimmer and it'll go down and then back up full brightness again. So I'm happy with this dimmer. That's going to work out great. Now I'm going to leave the links to everything I used in this project and show you the fantastic results I'm expecting near the end of this video. So guys, stay tuned. Right, guys these are the uh, fuse jumpers I got they look like that mini ATM APM blade fuse holder and I'm going into that fuse box that fuse panel right there that's where I'm tying into I've already got one in there at the top right as you can see uh, with my lead coming off of there and that's where I'm gonna tap my power from right below the driver's steering wheel. Oh, look who took my seat. During the middle of my project, Carly Buggas, you're in my seat. Daddy's doing a project right now. Her mommy just left for the store and she's waiting for her to get back. And there's Brandy, taking a rest. Brandy Butts, yeah, she's taking a rest, looking out the door. Alright guys, first step I did was I got everything mounted, well, all the six puck, puck lights mounted. And I did some up underneath the passenger area, two right there, whoops, one there, one right there. I did one also right here, underneath or above the center console right there. 
I did one right here on the side of the steering column and one on the opposite side of the steering column pointed toward the driver's door panel there and one up above the driver's door panel over here underneath the dash. So that way I got all them in. All I got to do is screw on the top uh, lens covers after I get all the wires connected underneath and anchored and connected into the power uh, at my fuse panel box. Stay tuned. All right, guys, it's almost nighttime now, but I finally got the project done. Uh, my hair probably looks a mess. I've been climbing around underneath the dash on my head and back and side, and, but the results will show you that this project pays off big time. Got the keys in the ignition. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to accessory mode. Now, let's look at our switch right here. You notice that switch has a lighted dot there now. Oh, can you see it? Sorry. The dimmer switch we put in, it's got a lighted dot so you can find it at night. And I put that down right below the steering wheel. I touch that. Bam! Guys, look at all the lighting underneath there. It's going to be so cool. And even over on the passenger side, underneath of here, your console center. I'm so happy with it. Guys, if you see that uh, you like the results on this, uh, hope this video helped you out in a great idea. I'm going to get you some more looks at this and we'll show how the dimmers work on it as well. So there it is. You can imagine driving at night. It is night outside. Look at all the light you have down there. And it's below your eye level, right? So it's not going to distract you. But when you look down off of the road, down here, you can see your console. If something fell on the floor, you can see your side panels, your cup holders on the side panels there. Both side panels. Let me turn the entry lights off and show you that way. So there you have it right there. That's full brightness too right now. So you got a light there, there. One there down on the console. You got one there. That one kind of sticks out if you're not sitting in your seat. But once you sit down in the seat, it's not going to be shining in your eyes. But that one, I may relocate. It's pretty good because it shines all the way across underneath there. And then you've got one on the other side underneath there. In the steering column. And then one up underneath the dash shining down. So let's hit the uh, dimmer button here. So you can find the dimmer button. It's got a lighted dot there. And just hold it. There's the dimmest right there. Now I see a flickering, but that's on the camera only. The lights are really not flickering. I'm going to bring it up a notch. All right, turn it off. Let's bring it up a notch. So on my phone camera, it shows a flickering light but they are not buzzing or flickering at all. It's a gra nice gradual light. So I like how you can adjust that and turn them off with a touch. That's how dark it was when I was driving the other night. And I put my drink down and I couldn't see, you know, I couldn't see where to put it into the cup holder. It was so dangerous. I turn that on now. And now that's the view. That's about 60% brightness right there. So guys, thank you for tuning in again to another one of my videos. I hope this one was helpful to you. If you're driving an RV and you feel it's dangerous at night driving because you don't have any under dash mounted lights, this light kit, I'll leave all the links below. This one's working great, as well as that dimmer switch. With a touch, you can dim it or turn it off and on. Guys, I'll see you on the next video. Just remember, I will be there for you, baby. Remember, there's nothing out there to get you. Don't forget it. When life is almost, just call on me. Just call on me. Just call on me.